Hello guys, how are you today? So uh, in this tutorial, we are going to make uh, this guy right here, this thing right here. This is mostly for game arts. So I'm going to bring that in. So first, let me enable so that you can see whatever I'm clicking. So press Shift A. You can see here uh, everything that I'm doing. So click on reference and and here we have that. So let me just yeah that's fine. So press R and X and press one to look it from here. So we need just a simple curve a bezier curve or maybe a point works as well so we come from here and so we see that that's in 2d so uh, set that on 3d so grab by g from here we are starting so uh, this is gonna be so e in x-axis okay and again uh, e for extrude and z-axis or a little bit in z-axis and you see that's not perfectly in z-axis but tweak that a little bit so again e So we go to the um, modifier tab and we have something called screw modifier. So uh, the screw modifier does this third of thing. It is screw everything. So just grab those and just push those in X axis. Okay. Or maybe a little bit, not. Okay. So. And as well, grab this image reference and push that in x-axis a little bit. So again, I think that's fine now. From here, so we can work on those, okay? On those parts that we... So actually, let me um, check that front and opacity, turn that down a little bit like so and we can go to the solid mode as well so grab our point or object that or curve so click go to the tab press tab go to the edit mode and just grab those and press V and vector and press a few times w and grab that okay so just play around with those to get something that you are you you like so uh, now we have something like this so we can come here and that's fine, 12. We go to the modifier tab and we crank that up a little bit higher, both for render and viewport. Okay. Hold on, Control and Seven. You look at from the uh, from the bottom, as you see here, minus Z. So click here, merge, and grab this one, and in X. And now we don't see any issue here. So uh, now what what we can do is come here and just 
add um, maybe here as well a bit of just a little bit okay cool so now right click and convert to mesh okay convert to mesh so uh, guys that's it one thing right here is that we can come here and um, press hold and alt and we go to the here you see that inside we have liquid okay so h for hide that for for making look it uh, liquid we can make add a solidify modifier okay and leave it inside or or what we can is that we make it selection okay we go to the tab and press tab go to the edit mode and press three and we just select this part um, if we want to yes, just select this part for example or maybe until here okay shift D and P separate this selection now we have two parts this is the whole bottle and this is the second part that we want to uh, put the liquid inside so go to the liquid and just go to the negative uh, and that's perfect okay so at this time I, I want to apply that one I want to apply and uh, actually there is a lot of ways to make that even we could scale that as well like this okay so even we don't need to add for example a solidify because that's inside and nobody and later if I add a texture I want to rename that inside okay bottle and I just copy that and press F2 and bottle so this is the outside and this is the inside which is the liquid or we could rename that as a liquid so the next thing is if we go to the uh, press 1 look at from here this uh, thing right here okay so we're just gonna make a rope around uh, this bottle okay so uh, again we come here make that a little bit and scale a, a little bit just and turn off so, uh, set it on the back side okay and scale that a little bit inside so Rob I'm gonna start from here so we just add just press H and add a curve and this time I think so we go to the edit preferences and in the add-on tab just search for extra and you have the extra object and 
for Curl and Mesh and just enable those and you, you have access to this mm, sphere. Yeah, I think this one can can work. So as I told you, we keep that low poly mesh. So this the distance is good. And um, so here we have more uh, control right here. And we can change from here as well. Sphere torso now. And what we have here, the step gonna be okay. Oh my god, what just happened? So if we if we add again that so sphere we have from here. So set it on 3D. And nerves. Or base here. Poly. So from here, I'm just looking. And I scan that a little bit inside. Just let me, what is this guy right here? So just we scan that. Okay. And we replace those until here yes. okay and from here I will change my uh, tweak to box or even we could come here and just turn the professional editing okay like so and oh my god what happened here so just make sure to change those and scale those a little bit. Okay, fine. Now if you come here and we go to the curve and uh, geometry and extrude some, not this one, but this one, extrude depth, okay? We see something like curve or like a rope and as well from here i will just grab those and push those a little bit back Now, if you look at from this side, everything gonna be perfect. And press one, and just rotate that in a way that everything looks fine. But a little bit here, okay, like so. Now perfect. Now what we need, press slash this this thing right here okay we can again do that by uh, just let me again Let's see okay again a curve this time we can use an um, an arc oh we can use that so just a simple curve works fine as Go to the tab, grab this one, and grab this one, rotate that. Okay, and just scan those. Or maybe in this case, we need to go here and just take the tweak tool. And we come here and rotate that a little bit grab as well from so we can come here and bump it up so that we can see so grab this one and um, and like so 
Okay, and grab this one as well. So we need to add uh, a little bit extra segment. So grab those segments, which is right here, and right click and subdivide. Okay, nav. If I again press A and subdivide again, and we have three again, three more um, point to work with. So we grab those from here again, like so. So we can press Alt and S to look at from this side. Uh, So I save that and now what we can do is come here and and we're gonna make something like that so that we can we the door for this to close and open so uh, we just grab this uh, edge and we press shift s cursor to select it okay and even i can come here and borrow one of these so shift and d and p for selection press f to fill that and again in uh, z axis And for here, we can come here and add a bevel. I think that's fine. Shade is smooth that as well. Or maybe two. Two or four, that's fine. So now grab, uh, set the origin on geometry, scale that a little bit. So that is called, uh, we are not making in this video because the short of time. So maybe in another video we can make that because that's sculpting and take a little bit an extra of our time. So this shape you can add easily without any problems. So we just come here and add a yes a cylinder, and we can come here and set it on maybe sixteen. All right, scale that like so. And from the top, look at from the top and grab these two faces. Press 3, go to the face mode, and just I to um, extrude inside. And again, press come here and press uh, right click and bridge faces. Okay. Fine, and for this last curve, we just bring that a little bit here, and 
push that back. So we can add that object. Okay. Uh, but in this case, uh, I just copy and place that here. If you guys like this one, I can make some advanced tutorial. But So please hit that like button and subscribe button so that and leave some comments and just say I want this tutorial about this one and and you can just say the objects what you can and I'm really thank you if you support our channel so everything fine and this one right here, okay? We have this one. Uh, instead, I have the liquid inside, okay? So I'm not gonna make this part because we uh, want to see the liquid just. So, so that's it. Even that's not a big problem to come and we just grab a part, for example, this part, okay? And we just, as I told you, shift D and press P to uh, separate the selection. Go to the, um, press number the slash and just delete this part we don't want. Okay, for example, this part. And just press uh, on face. Okay, and now if you add a solidify modifier, look what will happen. And go in this direction. And here we can just play around. Press number slash again. Okay, we have something like this. Or even we could, for example, uh, just delete one face so that it looks closer and solidify modifier and a little bit extruding as we see there. That's maybe 25. Let me 25. So from this moment, we can grab and just play around on that. Okay. For making this part right here. So just grab this, this, and even this one. Not from here. And uh, press E, extrude along the normal, okay. And uh, or maybe like so. Okay, just extrude, and we have this cool effect. And for that, we just gonna need to make some holes here, and you got. The rest of this and we just play around with the curves so here um, we have and now the time is for shading okay so uh, the first is the glass material 